फजले उमर तेरे ओसाफे करी माना Even if all the people left you and I were left alone I would stand by you and would face all opposition and onslaughts against your mission These were the words spoken by Hazrat Mirza Bashiruddin Mahmud Ahmad radiyallahu anhu upon the death of his beloved father Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad alayhi salam of Qadian the promised messiah and Imam Mahdi He lived for a further 57 years and during that time his every act and deed was conducted with those words in mind He therefore fulfilled the promise he made to his father and by doing so Allah's promise to the promised messiah alayhi salam namely that he would grant him a son who would be the muslim maud the promised reformer was also magnificently fulfilled we present only a small glimpse of the achievements of hazrat muslim maud radiyallahu anhu here at the age of 19 he offered himself and soon formed anjuman tashhizul azan and under its supervision started a magazine by the same name through which the work of religious preaching was carried out early in 1911 with the permission of hazrat molana nuruddin khalifatul masih the first he founded the anjuman ansarullah In June 1913 he started the Al Fazl a newspaper for the Jamaat in which apart from the national news educative informative historical preaching and reformatory articles were published In 1914 he formed Majlis-e-Shura to discuss the propagation of Islam For the fulfillment of this task he established Nazarat Dawat ut Tablighi in 1919 and the Madrasa Ahmadiyya as the basic center he made efforts for its advancement and steered it from the status of a mere school to a university and all these efforts were aimed to create learned religious missionaries the new definition of the wisdom of the holy quran written in his tafsir e kabir bears undeniable evidence of his god given knowledge of al quran the holy quran was translated in various important languages of the world so that the glory and wisdom of the divine book could be made available to people who did not speak arabic in their own languages In order to consolidate and organize the Jamaat he established the central and regional anjumans and for better functioning various important nazarats were established under the Sadr Anjuman Ahmadiyya Qadian these were Nazarat Dawat ut Tablighi Nazarat Taleem Nazarat Amur e Ama Nazarat Baitul Mal and nazarat uliya above them to oversee them he also formed several organizations in the jamaat these were the organization of ansarullah for men above 40 years of age the organization of khudamul ahmadiyya for youth below the 40 the organization of atfalul ahmadiyya for boys of below 15 years the organization of lajna imaullah for women and the organization of nasratul ahmadiyya for girls hazrat muslim maud planned reorganized and consolidated the financial structure of the jamaat he initiated various schemes and appeals for donation and contribution some of these are He appealed for financial donations in order to send his missionaries to all the cities and towns of India for the preaching of Islam. The scheme for the completion of Minaratul Masih, 
the call to women to mobilize funds for preaching, a call to donate for the London Mosque. Through the important scheme of Tahrik Jadid, many Ahmadiyya Muslim missions were established the world over. Similarly, the scheme of Waqf Jadid was initiated so as to promote missionary and reformative activities of the Jamaat in every city, town and village in India and Pakistan by appointing teachers everywhere. This scheme was introduced on the 27th of September 1957 and finally Hazrat Khalifa Abdul Masih II Raziullah Anho laid the foundation stone of fazl -e umar Hospital. May Allah help us all to reach up to the expectations of this great leader. Ameen.